Ladies and gentlemen, we have made it. We are here. One of my favorite problems in game development, the ray triangle intersection. It has so many applications. You see it all the time in collision detection and in rendering. Uh, we have this ray right here and it's going to strike or not strike a triangle at some point, which I will label I this point right here and we have to figure out if I is inside this triangle or outside now I'm gonna recommend that you watch two specific videos before you watch this one one is the projection video and the other is the ray uh, plane intersection video the ray plane intersection video because the very first thing you do when you're calculating a ray triangle intersection is you calculate the intersection of a ray and the plane that the triangle is on. You get that intersection point, and then the only thing remaining to do is see if the intersection point is inside the triangle. I've drawn it here inside the triangle, but it could be outside the triangle, and so we have to test that. The other video is the projection video, which I think you should watch because we use projections all over the place in this video, so it will be good if you learn that first. So what is our strategy here? we're going to use something called barycentric barycentric coordinates I can't spell so in barycentric coordinates, let me label the uh, sides of this triangle this guy is going to be A, B, and C the, the edges, did I say sides? why did I say that? so barycentric coordinates are lowercase a, lowercase b, lowercase c, where the closer you are to A, the higher this number is. The closer you are to B, the higher B is. The closer you are to C, the higher C is. And let me give you an example. Here, A is 1, 0, 0. This is the barycentric coordinate for A because we're sitting right here at A. So the barycentric, so the A part of the coordinate is 1. And the B and C coordinates are 0. Here, for, for point B of the triangle, you have 0. 1, 0. This A coordinate is 0 because we're on the line CB, which is opposite the triangle from A. Anything on this CB line is going to have an A coordinate of 0. And anything past it, past it outside of the triangle, is actually going to have a negative barycentric coordinate for the, for the A part which is going to be great because then we'll know that anything with a negative coordinate for any of the three, A, B, or C, will have, will be outside the triangle. Good. So uh, lastly, C is going to have 0, 0 because the A coordinate is going to be 0 because we're on the C, B line, which is opposite from A. And the B part is going to be 0 because we're on the A, C line, which is opposite from B. And of course, the C coordinate is going to be 1. So our goal is to find the barycentric coordinates for, uh, for this point I, and then we'll be able to see if it's inside the triangle or not. So to do that, we're going to take a look at, we're going to find a line that is orthogonal. We're going to find the A coordinate first. We're going to find a line that's orthogonal to CB and passes through A. That looks to be just about orthogonal right there. And we're going to project, the, I'm going to call this V. And we're basically going to project everything onto V. And we're going to use V as a tool to figure out what the barycentric coordinate of, of I in terms of A is. So how do we find V? The vector V is going to be AB minus the projection onto CB of AB. So what does that mean? We're taking AB and we're projecting it onto CB and we're getting this line right here. This line that you can barely tell apart from CB itself. But this is this is the projection projection onto CB. You'll notice that V plus the projection onto CB sums up to AB. So if you 
Reorganize that a little, you get this. V equals AB minus the projection onto CB of AB. And another way you can think of that is it's the perpendicular component of AB, whereas, whereas CB is the parallel component. Because these two components are perpendicular to each other and they add up to AB. So now let's get to projecting things onto V. First we're going to take this AI right here, AI, and project it onto V. And so we'll get this guy right here, the projection, the pro projection onto V of AI. And that will be some fraction of the line AB projected onto V. So let's project AB projection onto V of AB. Now you'll notice that if I is hanging around over here near the CB line, then the projection of AI onto V will be very long. It will be very near to the projection of AB onto V. And so we're going to have something like 1 over 1, which is 1, but we want the barycentric coordinate over here to be 0. So we're going to do 1 minus that. Same thing when I is hanging around here near A, you're going to get something like 0 over B, which is going to be 0. But 1 minus 0 will equal 1. And the barycentric coordinate around here should be 1. So this is actually, this actually right here is the barycentric, the A part of the barycentric coordinate of I. Now we can simplify this. This is pretty easy to simplify. If we just go back to the definition of a projection, we're projecting onto V, so that'll be, let's see, 1 minus V dot AI over V dot V times V over, now we're projecting AB, V dot AB over V dot V times V. Now look at all this stuff that we have both in the numerator and the denominator. Numerator and denominator we have switching to a different color. We can cross that out, cross that out, and cross all this stuff out. So finally we get A equals 1 minus V dot AI over V dot AB. Now we can actually simplify this more. If we, in fact, we can simplify this a lot. Uh, but I'm going to hold it right there. Because this is such a central uh, algorithm in, in video game development, a lot of people put a lot of work into getting this algorithm very fast. So I could spend, I could do dozens of videos on this one. But I want to move on to something else. Uh, so we're going to stop it right here. This is actually a fairly fast algorithm when you combine it with the ray plane intersection that, that we used at the beginning of this video. And I'm also not going to do a code video for it. How about I'll leave that up to you. See if you can implement this this algorithm. It's actually pretty trivial. This formula right here is two dot products and a one minus. Now that you have the A coordinate, you can check if that's between zero and one. And then you can do this again for the B coordinate. Check to see that if that's between zero and one. And if they're both between zero and one, then we don't even have to check the C coordinate. We know that if they're, neither of them are negative or greater than 1, then the C coordinate will also be between 0 and 1. And there you have it. The ray will be inside the triangle. Okay, that's it. Join me next time. Math for Game Developers. See you later.